Stay tuned to watch me tone and slay this wig. Let's get into it. So today's video is sponsored by Tuneful Hair. So as y'all already know, I gotta show y'all what I got. I got some lashes. This card is telling you if you make a TikTok and get views, you could get paid. So when y'all buy this hair, make sure y'all do that. I also got the wig cap, y'all already know. And then here is the wig. So it is a platinum blonde wig. The exact length it will be listed down below. This is how the lace looks. It comes with the already pre-baby hair, the little pre-pluck, and the combs on the inside, which I cut all of them out except the, the last one. But let me show you guys how I toned the lace and everything y'all so this is the hair y'all already see how the lace is it's very bright like white when well, i want it to look like that so i went ahead and sprayed some of my gots to be glue up on there first so it could secure you know and not mess up the lace went in with my wella t35 i hope i'm saying that right 20 developer and i went ahead and just mixed it in this cup so i could have like good measurements um yeah and then when i did that i realized like i didn't even measure it in the cup it's not like i filled the whole cup up but anyway it still worked for me so every time you use oh no wait not with this step okay so yeah so just watch me i'm about to go ahead and tone it And I just wanted to let you guys know that I did leave the toner on this hair, I mean on the lace, for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I feel like I wanted to go like 25, 30 and I should have. It would have been a little bit darker, but it's fine. It still came out really, really cute. But I did have to add makeup to the lace. So I'm doing the watercolor method to tone the hair. I'm using 10 developer and y'all see I used all those colors. So for every one bottle of the, the, of the toner, you want to fill up the developer in that same bottle twice. So I used used so y'all see i'm filling this up once and i'm gonna do two more like one more in the developer so for every one toner fill it up the developer the bo uh, developer bottle twice you guys so i did go ahead and dip it in and out and i did leave it in there for about 20 minutes it's after i dipped it as well and y'all see the color it came to so like i said i could have left the develop the toner on the lace a little longer but i didn't so i did go in there with makeup and yeah and i also had a brown wig cap on as my ball cap method i'm not perfect with the ball cap so y'all gonna see it's gonna be looking a little crazy and it was pushed back some but it still got the job done but as y'all can see this is the color the hair turned out after i toned it i just wanted to make sure i toned it to get it from that yellow color because i couldn't do the yellow it would not go good with my skin tone i just don't think it would look right on me so i did go ahead and tone it and it's giving like an ash color but it's really super cute i think it came out really cute and one thing about this hair it stayed extremely soft after toning it y'all seen i toned the lace and i toned the hair with all those different colors and developer this hair stayed extremely soft but i did see somebody said make sure to use 10 developer because it will make the hair continue to be soft as y'all can see it's still flowy i did not i have minimum shedding and yeah so right now i'm gonna just stop talking so much and i'm gonna just let y'all watch me do it right now as y'all can see i'm gluing down what is left of the ball cap
I'm about to go in with this icy um, spray. It's like a lightweight spray, and I just spray it like that, and then I just rub it in with my fingers. Not too much. It is really lightweight, so it doesn't make the hair heavy or oily. It just gets the job done and get it silky and good. So the spray that y'all see me using is some Tresemme holding spray. So I did just go ahead and spray it right there on the parts where I'm at the lace. Just so when I hot comb it down, it could get it really flat. And that's what I was doing in the beginning of the video too. Like on the edges, I just like to go ahead and use the Tresemme holding spray. and just Or any type of holding spray, it don't matter. I guess, I don't know, but this one I use. And just hot comb it back just so it could like give it that sleek look. And it get the flyaways and just make it more flatter. I just like that process. So that's what I'm doing as y'all can see. It just helps it a lot. Like y'all see how it's puffy then i spray that and then i hot comb it down and then it's gonna be totally different like it's just gonna make it real just sleek and flat and it's it's just get the job done but as y'all can see look how flowy this hair is and just how bouncy and fire this hair is even after i toned it yes who y'all know got good got good 16 13 6 13 hair sorry y'all i'm sorry but y'all see y'all look at that hair So this is the end results you guys look how this hair look i realized i did not flat iron good in the back so don't judge me but y'all this is the hair look how i'm showing y'all when i swing it y'all see it did not get all stiff and nasty its hair is just bouncy and good make sure you check the description box the exact link to this hair and go ahead and get you some don't forget to tell them who sent you but anyway thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll see y'all in my next video